we are striving to make it the best. We are striving to be on an international level, uh, wherever we are going. So I think that's part of our goal. Has uh, uh, one of India's top most real estate brand uh, brand the valuation of sustainability and art in Indian luxury living? So what kind of point is that to seek that or how do you strike a fine balance between aesthetics, between uh, utility and above all keeping uh, sustainability at the core of the brand? Uh, it's not an easy balance to keep. And uh, we strive really hard right from the beginning whenever we design something, when we think of something, we go back to our culture. And I think that's something very important. Uh, Indian luxury, sustainability, art is all part of our Indian culture. And uh, I've been fortunate to have been raised in these uh, principles. So they overlap a lot. And uh, each one impacts the other and makes it bigger and better. So basically, you know, we, we keep trying to do more and more, uh, and we keep trying to do better and better. We think this is something that needs to be in the front of real estate. Uh, especially Indian real estate, we have to have our own identity. And to be able to do that, we have to see what our culture does and gives us. So uh, we're keeping all three in line and we're going to one. I'm going to keep going to that question. So, what is the biggest challenge in marrying sustainability and aesthetics and art? So, one is very form driven, which is very technical. Uh, so, it means that you have to have a lot of things for sustainability. Uh, you know, there are a lot of restrictions in many ways. Like glass we use, the no, type of materials we use, all those things are limited. Them look aesthetic, to be able to give it a design that's pleasing to the eye is very important. So that's where the first challenge really comes in. The second, of course, is in terms of cost. Uh, the standard mentality is that being green, being more uh, aesthetically pleasing, and having art a bit more expensive, which isn't really the biggest thing. We're trying to pass those bits uh, by giving some of the best designs and thinking in a way that our ancestors did cross regulation, natural life, and giving the best building materials that are all sourced locally. So a lot of time goes into thinking and planning, and then the execution, which is not something that we are now interested in. So that's where the challenges really arise, and uh, I think we're really doing a good job of doing that. Okay, and um, is, is sourcing out sustainable material for a tech part of that is it easy to get the stuff in India and India and go to the ports or something No, India's come a long way uh, to give us a lot of the materials that we don't realize we actually have right here in our country. And that's part of being sustainable is to source locally, work locally and use the infrastructure around us. Uh, you know, the whole park that you see, you know, every tree that's planted has actually been grown right here in this park. Every plant that we create has been grown here. So it's not difficult, it's just a question of how much thought goes behind it. India is a very, very physical country. We have everything that we need right at our fingertips. We always had it. Now's the time to go out, reach it, and use it to the best of our ability. So what are, what are the parts of India where you sourced out different things from? So right from Rajasthan where you look at our stone, the concrete and the sand that's obviously used is used over here, fly ash, which is one of the most sustainable materials that we could use, has all been made right here on site. Even the wood that you see all around us, a lot of it is scrap wood, a lot of it is reused. And uh, a lot of the later on materials like the water that's just there over here. The technology we used for that, all the recycling is all local. It's all of all of it is local. Here. How we use the construction water also is all about what we have right here on site, without tapping into the wells, without tapping into too much of the infrastructure, harvesting the water that comes from the fall. All of that is part of what sort of forest is giving us. Yeah, so all the water that's coming in the heavy rains, uh, 
uh, most of it we try to capture, we use it for rewatching of plants, washing of toilets, and a lot of these other facilities where you will not realize a lot of water gets wasted, cleaning the buildings, mopping things like that, so all of it gets filtered and reused, uh, which otherwise would just be a big waste. So you have counted with one of the top three most top three professional private IT parks. What makes you stay in the top? What is that you are doing different? So, I think right from when you enter, I was very kind to welcome it. I said that you know, have to towards Satinaka people saying, you know, who wants to go all the way there? But uh, over here, that's, we, we try to create an environment for the people first. Uh, it's not just for our clients, but so much for their employees. We really take care of them right from their daycare for their children uh, to the air they're breathing, the water they're drinking, and the productivity they have. So we, every year we go in, we reinvest in the park, we do a lot more to ensure that the people who come here on a daily basis are very happy, they're productive. So when they go home, they're so much more positive. I think to be in the top three or to be just relevant and important, it's about how you take care of the people you're stressing. And we're first a service industry uh, more than anything else. So that's how we constantly keep upgrading ourselves. Uh, of course, there's a large investment in technology, in services. So that all comes together to keep us in the time. So we're expecting to meet the application and not just about the process of formal applying to When did you apply to So we started this process uh, right when the lockdown hit. Uh, it was the first time in so many years that we had the park to ourselves to actually be able to make a lot of the upgradation that's required. But our chairman, uh, Mr. Shobhit Rajan, was the one who turned our entire vision and said, look, we have to be on an international level. We have to reach and represent Indian real estate on a global scale. And uh, the certification we got is a global certification. The same in Sydney, same in New York, as it is right here in Bombay. So to be able to achieve that, we were extremely, extremely pleasantly uh, surprised. But we'll always set our goals on getting this certification. And we didn't just want to get it at a bare minimum level, we wanted to get it at the highest point in So something that's really important to us is we got it by a large margin of points, uh, which means we did that much on board. Uh, it's been about a two-year journey to be able to achieve this. Right from the data collection uh, to upgradation of our systems. So very happy and uh, yeah. So when the world was enjoying a little extra family time at home, you were kind of looking hard over and finding Yeah, I think that that's a lot to do with our team uh, and the effort that they've you know they stepped up when they were required. Nobody was scared to get out, we would eat. Uh, regularly and we would keep thinking of what more we can do, how do we keep going one level better. So when we do open our gates back to the world, which is happening right now, we're seeing such a change in the promotion business. We're seeing so many clients coming in, we're seeing people from all over the world coming. And when they come here, they're shocked. They've seen what it was before and now they've seen what we've done. So all the hard work uh, definitely is paid off. And uh, definitely took a little less family time. But the time to introspect and grow was uh, something that was a blessing in his life. Okay, last question. Could you throw light on your upcoming projects? Yes, we have a, a commercial project that's uh, soon going to be announced in the heart of Bombay, Bangla West. It's a commercial development. Uh, again, a state of the art with international and Indian art architects coming together. The uh, name is Turner House. And we're extremely excited. It also practices top of the line. Uh, sustainability practices uh, already received a lead platinum pre certification and it's, going, it's getting a lot of international appeal. So we're very excited for that project. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> criteria for being uh, uh, what benchmarks do you need to have to achieve this kind of a prestigious certification? Because obviously it's
it's a common process of applying for it and there are lots of applications you will get in. So how many applications did you get? So there are five important problems. One is the energy. How does the building do on the energy? The second is water usage. Third is waste, because today as we are aware, waste is very important for the media. The fourth is called human experience, which is all about the indoor air. The fifth is called carbon footprint, which is let's say the employee in the office, how do they travel from home to office? Are they building their cars? Are they taking metros? Because if they come in a private car, they are doing a lot of things. Right? So the, those are the five pillars of uh, need which we use to certify things. I'll ask the question. So, I mean, from the other people, other organizations who probably have been shortlisted, so what really set, what is the one, one major thing that set apart uh, like this? So, uh, one is rice curry. What they have done is they have actually converted a, a 15 year old property. Uh, an existing building they have retrofitted into a lean building, which is, which is extremely rigorous and extremely tough. Because it is easy to go for a, lead, for a new building, a new design building. But to retrofit an existing building into a lean platform is something wonderful. Point number two, let's not forget that this wonderful property is in the heart of Canada. There are many of the other things which we have done are all in the outskirts where they have enough uh, uh, you know, resources to play around. But to be in the heart of uh, uh, you know, Mumbai and to do it is incredible. The third important thing is they are used to data. Because you know, as I mentioned, we have lost a lot of technology platform. So this building has used data to become certified, which means they have adopted a transparent approach. It is not about documentation, it's not about data. It is about real data. And that data, they can monitor it daily as well. Do you think it's probably, uh, has, I mean, they obviously have used the time, the pandemic time to uh, to be about advantage. Do you think it would have been as easy, suppose, to, to think uh, because there are people not working over here, so that allowed them free access? Would it would be easy for people who are working over here to do, to do this turnaround? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, here is an opportunity where when, when, when you don't have employees, it's easy to do a lot of things. But at the same time, even when employees are actually working, uh, sometimes it becomes advantage because the employees see what you're doing. Right? They get motivated. Because ultimately, I think whatever Rice Karan has done is actually for the people inside the building. So when an employee sees, okay, there is some change happening in the building, they also become part of it. So it works both ways. So I mean, you had a tour of this place. So what is the one, one or two major things that impressed you about this? I, I, think, I think one is the, you know, the, the air quality, which is absolutely, so, you know, I got a sense out of it because whenever I go into a, and, and, and by now I would have listed some, you know, uh, 500 to 600 lead certified buildings across the world. So whenever I, I get into a building, the first thing I see is the air quality. And here, I can actually sense that the air quality is one of the best have actually come across in any of the lead certified buildings. So I think that's one, one thing which I can immediately look at. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.